this watch area. John Hope is the Weather field. Channel's hurricane we'll be, specialist. Uh, on the coast He's been at the network since day one, but his contributions to the weather community started some four decades earlier. John served in the South Pacific during World War II, which sparked his interest in the forces of tropical storms. After the war, weather was his main focus at the University of Chicago and at the U.S. Weather Bureau in Memphis. But his career in tropical meteorology didn't take off until the early 60s. John helped NASA launch their manned spaceflight program, forecasting the liftoff conditions for Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. There was a lot of excitement and interest uh, around the country at that time. We were getting ready to finally, in the late 60s, put a man on the moon, so this was a very important uh, forecast assignment. In 1967, John's career path changed again when the National Hurricane Center established its national headquarters in Miami. Five hurricane forecasters were selected to staff that initial uh, office, and John Hope and I had the privilege of being two of the five. Hurricane Camille was the group's first big test. The satellites uh, were pretty new then, and we didn't know quite as much of, about being able to uh, assess how strong a hurricane was by an analysis of satellite pictures we know today. The National Hurricane Center continued to advance the science of hurricane forecasting with each passing year. John Hope was due to retire from a long and successful career in 1982, but there were new opportunities on the horizon. We have a tropical storm that's uh, actually... Being one of the Weather Channel's first on-air meteorologist was a fresh challenge. And, here it is on and when hurricane season came around, he was the voice of experience. Right now, we're looking at the most powerful hurricane to strike the Georgia, South Carolina area this century. John has been recognized by many organizations for his contributions. But perhaps his greatest accomplishment has been helping others understand and prepare for hurricanes. Well, I think that uh, education is very important uh, because unless you've experienced a hurricane yourself, you don't really know what it's all about. Charlie Welsh, The Weather Channel.